Hello there. I hope you are well prepared for your January 6, 2024 IELTS exam by now. So today, I am going to share some important last-minute tips to enhance your skills. The IELTS exam to be held on January 6, 2024 is for academic module only. Remember IELTS is a life-changing experience so make the most of it. Practice what you already know, do not try to learn new things at this point. Focus on your thoughts and strategies that you have planned. Let's look into the listening section now. There are four sections, with ten questions in each section. The listening section lasts around 30 minutes. At the end of the test you will be given 10 minutes to transfer your answers to an answer sheet. Before the recording starts, read the questions carefully. This will help you understand what information you need to listen for. The listening sections gets difficult as the test progresses. In part 1 you will hear a telephonic conversation between two speakers that can be based on a complaint or an inquiry which will be in a social context. In this section will be asked fill-up based questions where you will have to write one or two words and or a number. You must listen for specific information like name, address, contact information etc. Read the instructions for the word limit very carefully as, if you exceed the limit you will lose these easy marks. In second part you will hear one speaker, it is generally a talk from a guide, giving information. In this section you can expect few fill-up questions, selection of letters and matching information. For these type of questions you are instructed to write the correct letter, so you need to write the correct option A, B or C or any other letter that has been given as an option but not the complete answer. For example, if the correct option is C, Rachel. In your answer key just write the letter C and not Rachel. And in case you need to choose multiple letters, you may write them in any order in your answer key as shown below. Coming to section 3, you will hear a discussion between 2 to 3 speakers, sometimes there may be even 4 speakers. This section is the trickiest as there are multiple speakers and you need to catch up on their discussion. In this section you can expect long multiple choice questions, pick from list and short answers. Be aware of where you are in the recording and how many questions you've already answered. In case you have missed any, guess. Do not leave any questions unanswered. Who knows maybe you guess right. Moving on to section 4 of the listening test. You will be here a speaker giving a lecture and you will be asked to write one word only. Many candidates find the fill-up based questions easy, but the challenge here is that all 10 questions will have to be answered in one go and not in parts. If you miss an answer, just move on to next question, so that you don't lose your place in the recording. Remember that practicing regularly with authentic listening materials and taking practice tests can greatly improve your IELTS listening skills. These tips, along with consistent practice, will help you perform well in each part of the listening test. Moving on to the reading module. You will be given around 60 minutes to answer 40 questions, and there are three different reading texts to read, so you must use the time wisely. The total text length will be around 2,150 to 2,750 words, so I would recommend you to practice reading different kinds of articles on daily basis. This will speed up your reading skills and grasping of information henceforth. Each passage has three or four different question types, so familiarize yourself with question types like multiple choice, matching, and true-false not given. In part one you can expect sentence completion along with yes-no not given type questions. Read the entire sentence with the blank carefully, try to predict the missing word based on the context and scan the surrounding sentences for clues. For yes no not given type question, carefully read the statement and decide if it matches the information in the passage, contradicts it, or is not mentioned. Pay attention to synonyms or paraphrases of words in the statement and be cautious with statements that are partially true but contain false details. In part 2 you should concentrate on MCQ, list of headings, true false not given and short answer questions. In passage, to skim the questions to get an idea of what to look for and then read the passage carefully and underline key information. Pay attention to qualifying words like always, sometimes, or rarely. 
Double check that your answer matches the specific information requested. In part 3 practice summary completion, choosing a title, table completion, multiple choice questions and statement matching type questions. As you can locate answers for summary completion in the passage order it is recommended to attempt the same first. It will also help you to go through the entire passage and for other question types you will be well aware to find which information in which passage. This trick helps to save a lot of time and energy. Remember to manage your time effectively during the IELTS reading section. Allocate approximately 20 minutes to each passage. If you get stuck on a particular question, move on and return to it later if time permits. Regular practice with real IELTS practice tests will help you become more familiar with the question formats and improve your reading skills. Next up is the writing module. It is recommended to allocate 20 to 25 minutes to task 1 and 35 to 40 minutes to task 2. As the word limit and the weightage of task 2 is more than that of task 1. For task 1 you should prepare graph with trend and comparative graph. In task 2 discussion with opinion, agree or disagree and problem solution essay should be focused. Make sure your essay covers all aspects of the question. If there are multiple parts to the question, address each one in a separate paragraph. Try not to use ready-made templates. Keep your thoughts simple. Be original, be yourself. All the best for your IELTS journey. If you found this video helpful do hit the like button and subscribe for latest IELTS insights.